I want to tell you a couple more interesting facts about metric units, which may be interesting to know, might help you make sense of them. Um, one of them, well, let's start with meters again. One of the ideas that people inventing the metric system had was that there should be kind of a, uh, a connection between the units of length and other units that you would have in the metric system. So one of the other units you have to measure, the things you have to measure is volume many times. And they decided they were going to connect meters to volume. And this is how they did it. Suppose you take a cube, so which is, looks like this. Now this cube here is 10 centimeters on one side by 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. All sides, all edges are 10 centimeters long. This cube has a volume, and I could fill it up with water if I had sealed up the seams really well, and maybe, especially if I made it out of plastic instead of paper or cardboard. But this cube has a volume, and the volume of this cube, which is 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters, is equal to one liter. So in fact, if I took a liter of water, this here is a liter of water, it says a thousand milliliters, and I know that a thousand milliliters is equal to one liter. So if I took this thousand milliliter beaker of water, one liter beaker of water, and I had a sealed up box like this and I poured it in, that water would exactly fit in this 10 centimeter box. So a liter is actually the same thing as the volume of a cube, which is 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. Now this is kind of a messy way of writing centimeters. I can, con I can also find out how many cubic centimeters is equal to a liter just by multiplying this out. What's 10 times 10 times 10? Well, that's easy. It's 1,000. What's centimeters times centimeters times centimeters? Easy again. Centimeters cubed. So one liter is actually the same thing as 1,000 centimeters cubed. And another interesting thing about volume, which is that, uh, about the metric system, which is that the mass is related to the volume by water. So it turns out that you know, as to pick a mass, what they did was they said, well, the mass of one liter of water, we'll just call that one kilogram. So one kilogram of water Um, has a mass that it takes up one liter. Okay? So if you pour a kilogram worth of water into a beaker, its volume will be exactly one liter, or the other way around. One liter of water has a mass of one kilogram. So there's a connection between the volume, the distance, meters, by this equation for liters, and then there's a connection between the mass of water and the volume of the water. So one kilogram of water weighs exactly one liter. Uh, sorry, one kilogram of water takes up exactly one liter in a container.